everyone, welcome to Black Rabbit Homestead. So last week I made a video about how overwhelmed I was and then I made some resolutions to try to get me on the right path. And through habit tracking, I feel like I'm getting there. Certainly for this week, I feel like I have a brighter mood, I'm not as stressed, so we'll just go over that. But right now, I've got to do my chores, which include milking Lily. Last week, you might have gotten the impression that I was really overwhelmed and stressed, and I was. Um, this week I'm feeling bright, I'm feeling energetic, and I'm feeling hopeful. What made the difference? I went for a walk. Twice! I got to go for a walk. I brought the dog for a walk, we worked on some training, it was really nice, it was not the best weather, I walked in the rain, but it was still good. I'm happy about it. I feel, like I said, bright and energetic and hopeful. So I think I need to get out more, and I gotta figure out a way to get out with Ivan more. So um, during the summer and the spring, it really wouldn't be a problem because we have got the stroller and we use a picnic blanket and everything like that. But in the winter time, I really can't bring the stroller through the snow. Don't fall, don't fall. Good job. So pushing the stroller through the snow and the mud is a bit hard. So I'm trying to look for a backpack, but I don't want um, just the cloth backpacks because I feel like the weight is going to be centered here and that will make me feel nauseous. Um, so I'm trying to look for a hiker's backpack. What are you doing? Something with maybe an aluminum frame? I think that he will be much more entertained with looking over my shoulder and experiencing what I'm actually doing. Um, Right now, when I push him in the stroller, I'm going to do chores. And I park him near the barn. Yes! I park him in the barn, and I run up and I go give grain to the pigs. I can see him. He's in my sight the whole entire time. Um, I go and give grain to the pigs. I get some grain for the horse. I get some grain for the cow. And then, the whole entire time, he's just sitting there, and he hates it. Whoa! Uh, what about this book? Oh, let me see this book. Never touch a dinosaur. But it's a touch and feel book. Does anybody have a problem with these? I have a problem with these. I feel like never touch a dinosaur, a touch and feel book, is just teaching your kids disobedient. But maybe I'm looking too much into it. Here you go, Bubba. There you go. There you go. But, anywho, back on track, um, I feel like as he's strapped into the stroller and the barn, he's not really experiencing a lot. He's seeing everything that I'm doing, but he's confined. And if anything I have learned about my son is he hates to be trapped. He doesn't like being in the crib too long. He doesn't like play pens. He wants to be free. He doesn't even want me to hold him anymore. He's starting to do his back arch off me. Yeah. So he wants to experience things, but obviously being loose in a barn with animals that are over a ton is a very dangerous situation. So I'm looking into alternate routes. So maybe a backpack. If you know a good backpack or have experience with backpacks, leave a comment. Let me check it out. I would love to learn the brands and everything. I'm still dabbling. I've I've read a few articles, but I haven't dove too deep. Yeah. What are you doing? Ooh. Here, give me your hand. Oh, yeah. Did I cover cooking? I'm not sure I did. Um, one of the places that I feel like I'm excelling but also not excelling is cooking. Um, I would say excelling because I am going out of my comfort zone. I'm trying new recipes, um, 
trying them out, see if they're good, and if they're good, I put them in an index card, and I'm making our own little flippy index cook thingy. What do you call them? Recipe cards. Yeah, I'm making recipe cards in a little recipe card box. Um, so that's really good. Uh, the problem that I have is I make a lot of food. What are you doing? I make a lot of food and nobody wants to eat like tons and tons of leftovers over and over again. You want to get on the bed? Okay. Good job. Whoa. So nobody wants to eat a lot of leftovers. Um, so that's a problem that I have, but we have to get better at it. I am very happy with all the organics that we're doing. I just went through Misfits and got some because our local grocery store doesn't have a very wide selection. What are you doing? Are you judging? Are you pooping? You're just being goofy. Don't fall. Um, failing because we have a very good social circle and we eat out a lot. I still want to work on that. being goofy on the bed. He's patting the pillows and the blankets. <laughs> um, reading, I read aloud still very well. <gasps> I need to work on reading the classics more. I took a break for a week just to give myself a little less to work on. And uh, that really helped too. But I, I attribute my good boon now to getting out and exercising, going for a walk, even though it was rainy, I still had a good time. I just, like I said, got to find a way to bring the whole family out there instead. What are you doing? You're in trouble. No. You're in trouble. No. No, 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 no. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for, <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who reached out and reassured me. <gasps> yeah, that's mommy. Oop. There you go. I want to thank you, everybody who reached out. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm holding you. I'm sorry. Go, be free. Be free. Run with your baby kind. Like your baby kind are meant to. Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better today. Um, thank you especially to the, my family because they have been com really super supportive. He's under my chair. So with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. If you like this video, hi, subscribe, hit the like button. I'm gonna go play with my baby. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.